hi everyone and welcome back and this is the last video about uh, react interview questions because there are thousands of questions available online you can just go through them what i will do is uh, i will just talk uh, generally where you should focus on what you should do a practice before going through react interview questions okay so coming back to our list which is talking about a lot of questions i have already covered a lot of them so first of all what you need to focus before uh, facing uh, react interview questions so i hope you already have, have done a lot of development in react now you are familiar with how redux works with react what is redux library how to manage the life cycle what are the life cycle methods what are the new life cycle methods what are the old life cycle methods what is state and props how to manage the state of a component either using some state manager library or either using hooks in the functional component what all different ways in which you can write component writing classes writing functions okay how you can visualize the the components by splitting the ui into smaller smaller pieces okay how the component communication happens how react redux works react redux saga redux thong these all libraries are important so if you talk about uh, a simple framework it has a lot of things it has a routing it has http modules it has a forms react is a small library so you should be familiar with uh, react router to write a single page application react forms or a formic library to write forms to manage the state you should be familiar with one of the state manager library redux is more popular or how to manage the state in the functional component you can use uh, the hooks like use state use effect uh, use memo use callback you should be familiar with each and every hook to manage the state you can use use state uh, uh, use reducer and the context apis okay and uh, now we can just talk about some of uh, these questions redux thunk redux thunk which is a middleware okay redux thunk is a middleware used with uh, redux whenever we want to dispatch an action which is asynchronous in the behavior and redux is purely synchronous it doesn't understand the promises and all so redux thunk will prevent asynchronous call which is like a pending promise going to a reducer so what redux thunk will do is it will block the request and it will wait until your promise until your asynchronous call is resolved or rejected then only it will send it to reducers because reducers in redux are pure functions they understand the basic data they don't understand these network calls and all what are the difference between redux saga and redux thunk these are two independent libraries redux saga works with the generators the redux thunk is a simple library which just uh, help us to resolve these asynchronous asynchronous api calls to resolve as a pending or uh, to resolve these promises and then send it to the reducers okay redux saga actually use the sagas as generators most powerfully what are the redux dev tools what is uh, redux time traveling time travel debugging so redux dev tools are there once you install it you should be able to do the time travel debugging of the redux state okay what are the features of redux dev tools you can inspect each and every action you can inspect the current state you can predict the next state or you can actually do the time travel debugging of each and every state on different ui actions okay uh, what is redux forms what are the main features of redux forms react forms what is apply middleware when you want to use a multiple middlewares then you can use apply middlewares redux thunk redux saga logger all these are middlewares you can pass and once you have that you can just call the create store method okay uh, so there are many questions about uh, react how react router works what is a react dev tool what is a redux dev tool how to write a reusable components using react storybook right what is the difference between react or view or react or angular what is the difference between react and angular another important questions right uh, why react tab is not showing in the dev to tools when page loads react dev tool sets global react dev tool hook then react communicate with the hook during initialization what are the styled components 
right we are creating these style components and we are just omitting the use of h1 do all these html tags we are just so we are actually using these wrapper tags in our gsx okay so this is more more more, more about react redux uh, selectors you can also create selectors instead of using map state to props and map dispatch to props okay so i mean we can keep talking about it there is no end of it so most uh, mostly what all questions are there in Re react uh, interview questions you should be good at how we are doing the state mutation you should always keep your state mu immutable you should always create a copy of deep copy of an object and then always assign it to the new state you should be good at how react redux works how what is the difference between state and props what all different possible ways to replace react redux with like you can use a context apis you can use uh, use reducers with the context what is the props tree link uh, how you can get rid of it you can use a context apis to get rid of uh, props tree link what is the the set state method what is the callback in the set state method okay what are the life cycle methods these are most most frequently asked questions because these are like most common questions whenever it comes to the react interview okay you can also think about the difference between react and angular angular is a framework react is just a library what all differences you see react uses the virtual dom uh, to just do the, all these kind of change reduction angular uses the john gs4 change reduction library at the component level angular is a whole framework it has angular it has angular uh, router angular forms angular http modules react is a small library which provides a react and react or a react dom you can additionally use react router dom react forms axios and all the external libraries you are using to make it look like a framework okay what is a higher order component like when a function is when a component is taking another component as an argument and returning a new component that is a higher order component okay um okay there can be a react design patterns which i have already covered in the separate blog what all possible ways of what are the structures you can use to write components what is react.memo react.callback these are new new hooks which are introduced these are more more useful and questions are asked uh, on use effect okay what is this dependency array which we are using in the use effect what is the use of use effect how use effect is replacing the all is combining all the different life cycle methods which we are using in the class based component right because in the functional component we are doing a lot of things with the use effect it's same as it's same as component did mount and component did update uh, right in the use effect we are passing dependency array and based on the change happening in those dependency array use effect is getting triggered right and uh, how you can write a custom hook same as use effect and uh, use state use reducers and all okay that's it uh, i will stop here the rest you can explore i will just add this link okay thanks everyone thank you very much